Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can build yourself a cute red little tank engine. And this is that little tank engine that we will be building today. It has a steam whistle on the inside and it is built out of mostly crimsite, which is a block that can only be found within the create mod. Alright, and this is the tiny tank engine that we will be building in today's tutorial. Um, as a heads up, I'm feeling a little under the weather, I have a cold, so apologies if you hear any coughing or sniffing. Uh, but without further ado, let's get started on the build. So, we're going to start with the train casing as usual. You want to place a big train casing at the front, with two small wheels at the back. You can place a fluid tank on the, on the back like this, with a red seat and train controls above, uh, the, uh, above the train whistle. And then we're going to start building the engine itself. We're going to start at the front with calcite blocks, a calcite block in the middle with two stairs next to it. Then place uh, upside down calcite stairs uh, right here so it uh, cases in the wheel nicely. And then you want to place upside down calcite stairs on the side of the whistle so it uh, makes this pretty corner with uh, two calcite stairs facing upwards towards the seat with calcite blocks next to it and an upside down cut calcite stair at the back. Don't forget to place in the blackstone walls as the buffers. Then we're going to go on to the smoke box and the boiler. So you place a blackstone uh, wall and blackstone block like there, then place this crimsite in a Y shape with stairs next to it and two walls on top of it like this, then three crimsite at the back and place two lanterns at the front so the beginning part looks like this. Then we're going to go on to the roof which is a 3x3 three three polished blackstone slab roof with three crimside stairs at the bottom of the roof so they are faced upside down facing towards the blocks. And then at the end we are going to place a singular button for the release valve. And that is your entire engine complete. It's a small little steam engine but it works brilliantly and it's a fast build if you need a train really quickly and it still looks very pretty so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, yeah there's another factory tutorial coming soon and I apologize for my cold uh, but yeah you can look out to the factory tutorial and I hope I see you in the next video so yeah have a good day and goodbye